So you mentioned already that, for example, consistency is one of your weak, weak points in achieving your full potential or even in achieving your goals. Are there any other obstacles in your life that causes maybe to slow down to reach what you're going for? Noise. It's, 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 it's just it's noise in the sense of things that I see. And I think we all have this. I don't, I don't know if anyone, at least not from like mentors that I've had and people that I've spoken to, they never fully or entirely get rid of certain voices. You know, so right now, as an example, uh, what we're doing and working on, it might not work. And I look at it and I'm like, ah, there's the doubt that's creeping in, you know? So just identify and say like, okay, here's some, some noise, you know, some, some, something is coming from somewhere that is trying to distort things for me and, and take me off of the path that I'm walking on. So it's just like grabbing it in that moment and just putting it aside, you know, it's catching the fear and saying, well, I see that, but I'm not letting that contaminate me. You so know? how do you end that? Like I heard this before with uh, the previous speaker, Anand Patel, he said as well, and he said he has a, uh, another voice in himself that identifies that, Hey, hold on. Don't listen to that. Um, but and the way he said it is oh it's easy to identify but how can you identify the true the truth in the noise that's what i'm because i i i totally agree with noise there's a lot of noise there's always a different opinion there's always somebody that is not supporting but how do you keep yourself straight on the path that's a very good question and for me it's been a long journey so I basically started doing um, certain work and practices with certain mentors around 12 years ago. Um, so it's not one thing. It's a journey. You're starting at one point and you start to peel off certain layers, you know. Things that play a role, though, in decision making and your ability to cope and to maintain your core and to to have clarity is sleep. Go to sleep, rest well, all right? And people think, yeah, but it can't be and this and that. Try and sleep well, right? Try it, try it. Be consistent for, for a month and then try and sleep like shit for a month and compare your performance. Compare your ability to perceive things, compare your communication with people, just compare your overall mood, all right? It's not that it's just that simple, but I'm just saying that is one thing is, is adequate rest. All right. And then you can do other practices such as meditation, you can do journaling. Those kind of things are just practices that help to keep you more grounded. All right. I think for the most part, when you are dealing with things such as fear, and we're interesting as people because it, it, it comes from, from, from all different places, all different things that we do. I think actually the book, that I told you about Limitless, I think Jim Quick wrote about um, a part of, of um, the, the, the brain um, which points out um, why, why certain people get stuck on fear. I think it was that book. I can't recall exactly. Um, but let's say, for example, if you are working on something, something big and you're scared that it's not going like, to work out, you know, I think if you strengthen your character and you let go again of things in the past and certain limiting beliefs, then you can power through that. And you remind yourself that you are just worthy of everything that you want. And that you can attract everything that you want to you. And you've got to ask, where is that coming from? You know, and really sit with it and really try and identify, you know, but like, what is the worst that could happen? And instead of dwelling on what is the worst that could happen, think about what is the best that could happen. What is the best case? And instead of worrying about all the shit that's happened in the past, I say all the shit that's happened in the past, but all the things or whatever, I don't want to be or offend anyone, you know, it's just my way of talking, right? But um, 
if you let go of those things from 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 the past and you look at where you are now and you see this vision of yourself in the future you can then ask yourself but is the future me going to be worried about all of this noise and all this shit that's going on right now so you see yourself in that future position having already achieved the things that you want or that you're creating or moving towards and then you ask yourself but are you going to be thinking about this right now when it's already done so you you're pulling yourself ahead yeah put yourself into the future when you know that whatever happened in the past is actually indeed the noise um that is just trying to stop you but when you achieve it that noise is irrelevant to your goal. the past dictates the future if you allow it to or you mm. can reshape it because at the end of the day like how do we perceive and why do we perceive in that way mm. those are the two questions but it's interesting like i said like i always go back to just the way of living you know and i think like for me i enjoy being quite reserved i'm not a very loud and outspoken person and it takes too much energy for me you know like i i like doing this call with you is fantastic and 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 and, and connecting with you um but for the most part i'm quite introverted and quiet i like to observe things talk when i really have to talk um and obviously socialize and all of that but um i like to dig dig into into myself and into the psyche and the more you understand about yourself the more you can relate to other people it's true because it's not that you have been through exact situation the exact same situation but you may have experienced certain patterns and feelings that your friends or family may experience and if you've gone through that and you found a way to work through it you can help them do the same mm. so it's not event the event that may be the same it's it's the patterns or the loops that may be the same